All right, so I'm going to give a demo on how to use the uh, two dip different types of overlay software we've got access to. Uh, one of them is TDC or TDC2. That is a uh, out-of-pocket cost of $20. Um, so if you want that software, you'll have to go to the drivabilityguys.com, pay for access. You'll get an email with the download link to it, and uh, once you download and do an install, it'll run fine. The other one is going to be pressure waveform overlays. It is free. It is through the Microsoft Store. So what I'm going to do right now, you can see on the screen, we've got a cranking compression test uh, for a 2000 Silverado with a 4.3. This first channel, channel A, is going to be ignition. And then over here, for some reason, it's kind of scaling off screen. This is channel B. This is actually using the pulse sensor in the intake manifold. So the piezo tool we've been using that plugs directly an intake manifold vacuum source. That's on channel B. So, quick view here. I'm going to go ahead and type in TDC2. <clears throat> oh, look, it's already popped up. Now, this is going to open likely on a, a different window, but I'll drag it in and show you. So, when the software opens up, you're going to get this as your layout. Firing order, sync on, piston options, whether or not you want borders, uh, and then how transparent you want the image. So, this is a 2000 Silverado. What I've already done is went into service information, selected firing order. So I'm going to go ahead and build this now. This is a 165432 right there. I do want the pistons on, and I've got trans transparency adjustments here, but I'm not super concerned with that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pistons on. And typically on my Windows machine, this has been popping up on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So be mindful of that when trying to run the software. So right now, we can see we kind of got a lot going on on the screen in the background. So what I want to do is zoom in on, let's say, a little more than one complete four-stroke cycle. It's going to take a while to zoom. Once it zooms, I'll show you how to input the overlay on your waveform. Okay, so here we go. Remember, channel A is ignition one sync. Channel B is going to be um, our vacuum pulse sensor. So if I drag this capture out, I'm going to sync this vertical bar here with number one's ignition. I'm going to scroll this up. You can actually see how the software provides benefit. So if this is number one, top dead center, this is the beginning of the power stroke. Looking at this, I can see a relationship. If I go 360 degrees of crank revolution out, number four is going to be on its intake stroke, which is located here. Three is going to be located on its intake stroke. It's located here. Two is located on its intake stroke here. One's intake stroke is right here. Six's intake stroke is right here. And five's intake stroke is right here. Then the process starts all over again. So that is option one. And again, that's using TDC2. It is a $20 software, relatively easy to use, um, and pretty efficient. Uh, the only complaint I have about it, which we may experience, is that not all the firing orders you're going to encounter are listed with the tool, but I've only found that on a couple later model Ford applications. Next one I want to open is going to be pressure waveform overlays, and this is free software that comes from the Windows Store. What I have to do in this software is actually take a screen capture. That's the only disadvantage I've found so far with using this. So I'm going to take a screen capture right here. I'm going to open the pressure waveform overlay software back up and I'm going to paste it in. So now I've got kind of a color chart for cylinder identification. So I have six cylinders oh, right there. I'm going to sync on cylinder number one because that's what I used for my ignition event. And again, the firing order right here, 165432. You're going to plug that in, 165432. And I'm going to click go. Now live, you can see this has got some pretty similar features. However, you do have some color variations that aren't cleanly identified. So, um, oh, and one more thing too. You can notice that this shows number one going up. In TDC2, we start at the top from number one and it goes down. I don't know that this is a setting that can be changed. Um, if not, no big deal. Just flip the image over and this is how you're going to look at it. So. Again, I've, I've got this aligned. This box is aligned between this peak ignition event and this peak ignition event that represents 720 degrees of crank revolution. So one is on its power stroke right here. If we look, four is on its intake stroke. Three is on its intake stroke. 
two is on its in intake stroke, one is on its intake stroke right there, six is on its intake stroke right there, and then five is going to be on its intake stroke right here. So not bad, pretty quick, uh, again, free, uh, no cost to download this software or to run it. The only differences in this application, uh, besides you're not spending 20 bucks on it, is that you're dealing with these colorized patterns. Now you can adjust the opacity if you're wanting to do overlays with this live. In TDC2, when you adjust the transparency, you have to select um, on or one of the selection buttons. Again, this will actually run live in the software. So if you got any questions about it, please let me know, and I'm going to post this video on YouTube and email it out to you guys. See ya.